this is me, Parmita, with eyeglasses. So I have been spending a lot of time in front of my laptop or phone and felt that there was a need for me to get eyeglasses with blue screen protection. So of course, I recently started wearing eyeglasses. Now the makeup needed for eyeglass wearers is slightly different from regular makeup. How to correct those mistakes, do's and don'ts is what I'm going to share in today's video. But first, a little bit more about my eyeglasses. I'm someone who likes to try multiple pieces before I find that perfect pair for my face shape. I didn't know how that was going to be possible with this stay home situation. And that is when I came across GlassesUSA.com. And I want to thank GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring today's video because literally the video would not be possible without you. GlassesUSA.com has completely revolutionized how you can shop for your eyeglasses. Now their website was a game changer for me. I'm going to show you a few eyeglasses that I got on this website by virtually trying them on their website. All I had to do was upload one of my pictures and then without having to step out of my house, I could try on any pair of frames with the help of virtual mirror on glassesusa.com to see what they look like on my face. Now this feature is exceptional when it comes to selecting your frames because glassesusa.com offers over 6000 styles of eyeglasses and sunglasses. Some are their in-house brands as well as designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Armani, Gucci, Prada and many more. After virtually wearing many, many eyeglasses within minutes, I actually landed up picking some of the eyeglasses that I never thought I would have picked otherwise. And they look absolutely <clears throat> stunning. Now, because I have a small face, I picked a lot of these transparent, clear frames. You can find every conceivable style and color as well as specialty glasses like blue light glasses, sports glasses, kids glasses and many more. Almost all the pairs can be ordered with your prescription as well. For those who have to wear eyeglasses, it's not an option to buy or not to buy eyeglasses. GlassesUSA.com's whole concept is that you can get your eyeglasses at a very affordable price just by cutting out the middleman. There is no middleman, so they offer prescription glasses at up to 70% off retail prices, making your prescription and non-prescription eyewear online, affordable, and a lot more fun to shop. My son who dislikes shopping actually enjoyed the virtual shopping experience for his own eyeglasses. If you too are looking for prescription or non-prescription, comfortable and stylish eyeglasses or sunglasses, then check out the largest variety by clicking the glassesusa.com link below this video. They've made shopping so simple that you're definitely going to enjoy this experience. Take a look at some of the glasses that I got for myself on glassesusa.com. So on my IG stories, I tried three of the glasses that I got from glassesusa.com and I asked which one I should use to film today's makeup video. Most people picked this one. This one's called Zora in clear pink. It is from Muse and Hilary Duff collection. Now Muse is one of their in-house brands. I also got these clear blue eyeglasses from Prada and personally I think this one color can go with a lot of my outfits so of course I had to get one of these colors. You will notice that my preference definitely lies in clear frames so I picked quite a few of these over solid colors like blacks or browns. The other one that I picked again in clear is Ototo Piero. This one is in clear and black. I was so excited getting these that I did a little fun runway show at home wearing all these. Take a look at all these and let me know which one is your favorite. Now that I wear eyeglasses, I relate to people who wear eyeglasses. I wanted to make this video to share my tips on how to do makeup for girls who wear eyeglasses and what makeup mistakes you can avoid if you wear eyeglasses. You can learn the right makeup techniques and stop making some of the makeup mistakes that you have been making so far. What are we waiting for? Let's begin. 
let's begin with a few steps to understand how the steps involved in your foundation application change when you wear eyeglasses. So I personally do not apply heavy full coverage foundation but when you wear eyeglasses remember not to forget your primer especially around two areas one is around your nose and the second one is right around where your glasses sit which is right around this area so the primer will make sure that your foundation stays in place it doesn't let it slide or glide from its place so right now i'm applying my primer this one is unseen sunscreen from supergoop it's up to you if you want to go with a light foundation or a full coverage foundation but do not forget a primer underneath. I am going to apply Mented Cosmetics L10 foundation all over my face. Now usually this foundation can be used as a concealer as well. But when you wear eyeglasses, make sure that you have a little bit extra coverage under your eyes. Otherwise your eyes can tend to look more sunken in. So I'm going to use this corrector stick called Rise from tinted this has a little bit of orange undertone so when I apply the same foundation L10 foundation by Mented Cosmetics over this it actually gives me better coverage the other reason I really like this foundation is because it keeps my makeup looking dewy but not oily it doesn't glide from its place now I'm done with my foundation and usually I just like to use a setting spray because I like to keep my foundation looking dewy. But when you are wearing glasses, watch what happens. So your eyeglasses will touch the sides of your nose and in some cases even your cheeks. If you're smiling, expressing, talking, I have seen this happen that your glasses will touch. These ones don't. I'm lucky. These are great. They fit me great. They sit perfectly on my face. But there are cases when I have seen these glasses slide and they touch your cheeks. So all your makeup will transfer and you don't want to look like you have two marks here and two marks on the sides of your nose. So to make sure you don't get those two marks on your face. On the rest of your face, you can go ahead and use just the setting spray. But in these two areas, I like to powder it a little bit and then use the setting spray. So before I powder my face, I'm going to contour my nose a little bit. But again, Avoid any kind of cream contours. I'm just going to use a powder. So whichever powder you have, go ahead and shape up that nose a little bit. I'm now going to use the light tan powder by Mented Cosmetic. Right here, right here. I usually tend to get a little oily around these areas. So those are the only areas I powder on my face and not all of my face. And then just a little bit here and the other side I'm going to contour my face and use a setting spray before I move on to my eyes before I give you some do's and don'ts about how to make your eyes pop even when you wear your eyeglasses here is a quick tip about touching up your makeup throughout the day before you're entering any meeting or you're going to have to take your glasses off for any reason, make sure you carry a sponge like this with you and just dab it in those areas right after you take your glasses off. Keep a clean sponge in your bag so whenever you need to just touch up really quick, do this and throw this back in your bag, preferably in a Ziploc. Because I've seen this happen, in case girls have oily skin and they sense that the makeup has shifted from its place in these couple of areas, they take their glasses off and try to rub it with their fingers. That's not going to blend your makeup. That's only going to make it appear more blotchy. So a little sponge like this will always be helpful. I want to tell you about the importance of eye makeup for girls who wear eyeglasses. Now, because I express the most with my eyes and I believe that to engage in any conversation, eye contact is very important and that should not change if you wear eyeglasses eyeglasses should not distract from the eye contact if anything wearing statement glasses or glasses that suit your face can add to your personality and i've noticed that people are perceived smarter if they wear eyeglasses so i'm going to keep the eyeshadow colors pretty neutral i'm going to start applying the second shade from mented eyeshadow palette all over my lid 
But while I'm applying this, I want to help you understand a concept with eye makeup for girls who wear eyeglasses. So if you do smoky eyes or dark eye makeup, it's going to make your eyes appear slightly sunken in, like it'll push your eyes a little deeper inside. And any kind of neutral or bright eye makeup or lighter eye makeup and a little bit of shimmer, almost like a pearly strobe will highlight your eyes. And that will help bring your eyes out instead of pushing them in. I'm now going to use the lighter color on my lid space. I'm going to use the same shade to highlight my brow bone a little bit. And then again, the same exact shade to create teardrop right here. I'm now going to use the deeper color to contour my eyes and just frame them and bring them in on the sides. So notice I'll apply most of the dark color in this area right on the sides because my goal is not to create shapes or elongate my eyes I want the focus to remain right in this area and then whatever is left over in the brush I'm going to go ahead and shape the socket of my eye so this right here is a great tip if you have either sunken eyes or heavy hooded eyes it helps to push that heaviness in and brings this center of your area out. Take a bigger brush and blend all these colors in upward and outward strokes. So they all look seamless. I'm going to take the exact same color one more time and apply it on the outer ends of my lower lash line. Because remember, we are focusing on framing your eyes. Having statement eyeglasses does not mean that you want your eyes to get lost behind them. So we are now going to outline the eyes. I'm using the liquid eyeliner by Colourpop Cosmetics in black. So usually I like to apply brown eyeliner. Use your black eyeliner. Also remember that your eye makeup should not be distracting. I avoid any kind of funky colors. I like to do eye makeup that enhances the shape of my eyes. Because remember, ultimately your frames will attract that added attention to your eyes. Now here are a few practical problems that you will face if you wear eyeglasses. Sipping on hot beverage or even simply cooking, your lenses can get foggy, which often translates to runny mascara. And in general, glasses will magnify the smallest of clumps. But the solution is very simple, just invest in a good waterproof mascara. Now, how you apply your mascara is also slightly different if you wear eyeglasses. Now, usually you may apply your mascara like this to lengthen your lashes. But here, you need to focus more on curling your lashes upwards instead of lengthening. Now, if you have a lash curler, then use one. But if you don't, then use this technique to curl your lashes upwards instead of forward if you pull your mascara up or like diagonally up this way it will create longer lash effect but then your lashes will start touching your glasses and that can be pretty uncomfortable and it can actually be very noticeable to the person you're talking to so instead of this take the wand behind your lashes so go behind your lashes grip them in the wand wiggle it as you come up then Come on the outside, push it up and hold it up for a couple of seconds till the mascara dries a little bit and stays in its place. Coat your lower lashes a little bit. As a thumb rule, avoid wearing any kind of false eyelashes, but if you have to, then avoid the ones that are long and lengthening. Now defining your eyebrows is a very important step for which I'm using Mented Cosmetics Brow Down. This is their precision eyebrow pencil. Now since your eyebrows are one of those few facial features that are actually visible when you're rocking your frames, make sure they stand out. So I like to highlight my eyebrow arch to make sure that it sits right above my eyeglass frame.
Now notice as I'm completing this look, I'm keeping the shape of my eye attractive. I've framed my eyes and my eyebrows. I've made sure that my eyes pop out without adding too many bold colors to my eyeshadow. Now, if you want to add some bold color, you can always add it to your lips. Before I move forward with anything on my cheeks or lips, I want you to see that if this is my eye look, I can take this anywhere. I can pair it with a bold lip color and it'll look completely different. And if I want, I can keep it just very neutral with soft pinks or peaches. Pairing bold lips with soft eyeshadow always looks great. With your eye makeup, try to stay in the family of light and dark browns. Fresh tone neutrals and bronze tones look amazing with eyeglasses. Here's one more little trick and this one is related to your blush. Instead of using regular powder blush, use a really nice velvety matte lipstick. Now matte lipstick tends to last a lot longer. It does not budge and in my experience it will not transfer onto your eyeglasses. Since I'm wearing pink glasses, I will end this look with a nice neutral nude pink lip look. Pink lip look. I got that right. I've outlined my lips with the shade Bare from Mented Cosmetics. I'll keep that same Estee Lauder's Burnt Raisin that I used on my cheeks on my lips as well. Hope you like all the tips I shared in today's video. I recently shared a video on how to look good on Zoom calls and since I started wearing eyeglasses, I realized that people who wear eyeglasses need special tips for any kind of video calls. If you land up with this problem where all that people can see are the lights in your eyeglasses, then with a few simple tips, you can learn how to keep the light and the focus only on you and not on the reflection in your glasses. Remember, if there's anything that takes that attention away from you, then I am here to bring that attention right back to you. Smash that subscribe button, that like button, comment below if you wear eyeglasses or if you want to share this video with your friends who wear eyeglasses. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok and my Facebook fan page for some entertaining and educational content as well. I will take these off. If you have any suggestion on how you want to become the best version of yourself, then please write to me below. I am Parmita, Chicago-based image coach. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, then reach out to me on my website. I'm just gonna come a little bit closer so you can see if there are any marks because I don't see any. That means all the tips I use to make sure that the makeup stays in place actually worked. Take a look. Enjoy shopping for your glasses on glassesusa.com and I will see you next week. Until then, pull up your glasses and continue to blush with me. Have 